Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you? Hey, everybody. I'm just going to give everybody a minute to know that I'm live and to join me. How are you all doing? It's a gorgeous Monday morning. I um, I have to apologize, though. I have to apologize because there is some drilling that's happening literally right outside my front door. And so, and, and I try to wait them out. I try to wait them out. Um, but they're determined and they, they keep on, they, they're keeping on going. Can't get my words out. I promise I have not been drinking. It is in the morning. Um, can't get my words out. But yeah, I decided, you know what? I was going to wait them out. But um, yeah, they're, they're just going to keep on doing their thing. So just want to say happy Monday. Good morning. It is July the 8th. Yay. A new week. Um, and what, what did you guys all get up to over the weekend? Um, I have to tell you that my weekend was not very exciting. I did grown up stuff, um, like laundry and cleaning and getting caught up on, on, on things. So it wasn't a super exciting weekend, uh, not a lot happening, but it was a good weekend. The weather was good. So I really cannot complain. And, uh, uh, I wanted to jump on and also say, actually, I want to start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly, from the very bottom of my heart, I have to thank you all for the incredible messages of love and support and and just offers of kindness that you've all extended to me. I am so very grateful. I am so thankful. If I have not personally responded to you, it's just because truly I've been overwhelmed by the number of people who've reached out and uh, I am so, 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 so grateful. So, hey, everybody who's joined. Hey, hey, welcome. Um, and, you know, it's obviously been a, a tough few weeks for me. It's been a tough few weeks for my family. Um, and one of my coaches said to me, which in the moment he said it, I was like, really, dude, like, really? He said to me that everything is a blessing, Everything that happens in your life is a blessing and you have to see it that way because it's here for you. It's here to help you learn and it's here to help you grow. Now, hmm, I'll tell you, I had to sit with that one for a little bit because it really felt like, how could you tell me that this is a lesson? Oh, this is the worst thing that's happened to me. Um, but the more I sat with it and the more I reflected on it, I actually ended up coming up with three things that I wanted to share with you um, about what has happened in our family in the last few weeks. And I promise, I promise this is not going to turn into the My Dad Died show. I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, but I do want to just share this reflection um, based on that comment that my coach said to me that everything is a blessing. And if I had to look at it, I would say the first blessing is something that someone said to me actually the morning that my father passed. And they said to me, this too shall pass. And on reflecting on that, it really made me think about how we need to be present to everything that is happening in our lives. That this too shall pass, whether you're having a difficult a difficult season in your life, whether it's the loss of a loved one, whether you're going through financial challenges, whether you're, you know, going through relationship challenges, this too shall pass, right? This is not here forever. This too shall pass. And you need to just hold on to that. The fact that this too shall pass. And that has really, for me, been something that I need to so yes, for difficult things, it's great to think that this too shall pass. But for even when you're having good times in your life, it's important for you to know that this too shall pass. Because one of the things that I've been so guilty of is not being present. You know, I'm always thinking about what's next and what's coming next and, and where am I going next and not actually being present to the good things that are happening in my life and knowing that, you know, this is a passing thing, whether it's good, whether it's bad, it is a passing thing. So that was my lesson one, was this too shall pass. The second thing, because I had to write it all down, so I have to look at my notes, is that the way you look at it is the way it is. So I have a choice. I can choose to see my father's passing as the worst thing that's ever happened in my life and the most painful thing. And I can choose to sit with that and sit with those feelings and allow those feelings to consume me. 
Or I can look at it and say, you know what? Yes, I'm incredibly sad my father has passed. I'm incredibly, you know, there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain. But at the same time, how do I want to choose to see it? I can choose to to look at it and put a positive spin on it and be like, you know what? There are many positives that came out of the fact that, you know, so many people have reached out to me. I got to spend time with my family and friends over the last few weeks, some of whom I hadn't seen for a long time. So life isn't as it is. Life is how you choose to see it. So in any situation, in the good, in the bad, it's up to you how you choose to see that and how you choose to interpret it because nothing has meaning. This is another thing one of my coaches talks about. Nothing has meaning. It only has the meaning that you choose to assign to it. So that was lesson number two is the way you look at it is the way it is. And the third thing that I've really been reflecting on is gratitude. You know, I did uh, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago, reflection on gratitude. And it was easy then to be grateful because, you know, things were great and great in my life and life was good and all of that. But even in the difficult times, even in the difficult times, you can find gratitude. And there have been many, many things as I've reflected on it, as I've had to look for things to be grateful for, um, that I can say I'm truly grateful for. Uh, when it relates to my father's passing, I got to speak to him. I actually spoke to him on the Sunday. He passed away on the Tuesday night. On the Sunday night, um, both my husband and I got to speak to him. It was Father's Day, and uh, we got to speak to him, and he got to say I don't know whether he knew he was going to pass, but he got to pass on some real wisdom to, to, to the both of us. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. I am incredibly grateful for all of you, all of this community who have embraced me, who have loved me, who have supported me through this really challenging time in my life. And for that, I have to truly be grateful that I had people who were there to, you know, to give me that love, to give me that encouragement. You know, as I said, I, through this, process of, um, you know, my father's funeral, I got to go home, uh, which is something that I'm incredibly blessed to be able to say that at the drop of a hat, I was able to get on a flight and go home and be there for my father's um, funeral, to be there with my family, because I know there are many people through different circumstances in life who are not able to have that opportunity. So all of those things are things that if I really stop and think, I have so much to be grateful for. And that's what I would say to you as well, is whatever season you're in, no matter how difficult, no matter how challenging, no matter how great, there is so much that you have to be grateful for. And in everything, everything, give thanks. That's something that I read in the Bible in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, which says that in everything, give thanks. So those are the three things that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to say, remind you that this too shall pass that life is the way that you choose to see it, and that regardless of your circumstance, regardless of what you're going through, there is always something to be grateful for. So with that said, I want to wish you a phenomenal week. I wish you blessings and blessings and blessings, and I will see you again, same time, same place, next week.